Hello everyone, it's the Samis here once again. So on today's episode on uh, my answer on Koro. So the, the question that I got was that um, this this man, I believe, says, uh, what advice would you give someone thinking about a divorce? Okay, so my answer is that divorces are difficult and can leave an irremovable scar on a person both mentally and spiritually i'm a christian so i do not like divorce for a christian is only allowed to divorce only after their spouse has cheated on them but i believe that most couples divorce for all the wrong reasons anyway if you look at some of the top reasons for divorce you find superficial reasons like weight gain lack of intimacy money etc I believe that most divorce, most people divorce because they did not understand marriage in the first place and they reach a point where they are stuck and don't know what to do. Then they think that the best thing to do would be to divorce. Men forget at the beginning, they forget at the beginning they did all for the joy of their beloved. They went to the gym and always went out of their way to bring joy to their beloved. When their beloved did not react accordingly, they would do more to pour out their love until they get the desired results. A man can court a woman for years with patience until she agrees to be his wife. But as soon as he marries her, the patience go away. When the wife does not react positively to the man's deeds, he does not show the same patience he had in the beginning during courtship. In reality, there are two reasons why people divorce. Either they never really love one another or they stop doing the things they used to do at the beginning which brought them closer and led to the marriage. A man who is contemplating divorce must ask himself what is it that he used to do to woo his wife in the beginning that he is not doing now? What is it that motivated his patience at the beginning that now does not motivate him to be patient and still do good for his wife. Go back and woo her again. Do good for, I mean, do good to her without reason. Just go back to the courtship stage and keep it that way. If there was never love to begin with, sit her down and ask to start, start afresh. And this time, all responses from both sides must be genuine. So that's the answer that I gave in terms of a man. Uh, you know, thinking about divorce because I think that, like I said, you know, in in marriages, in, in people do not understand what it is, and because they do not understand what it is, they they make it like if you like a girl or you like a woman, they have the same feelings, and then you just want to get married. You do not understand what what is it about marriage. Marriage is about two people, a man and a woman, who are supposed to come together. To perfect one another. Jesus Christ told the Pharisees that no, in heaven there is no marriages. In heaven what happens is that they are perfected like the angels. So meaning that God, what he does is that he uses marriage in such a way that the man brings like the, the characteristics which he's strong at to the woman who has characteristics which the man you know, the man is wicked, and so when they come together, they form a whole, a perfect union. So in that marriage, you're supposed to grow in terms of love, in terms of forgiveness, in, in, in terms of grace. All the things that we expect from God should be imputed between the spouses in terms of who's strong in what and who's weak in what. So the ones that, if in my case, I'm a married man, there will be things, maybe I'm, I'm kind, but I'm not patient. So my wife, if she's patient, but not kind. So when she, we come together, I get to learn to be kind through her, and she gets to learn to be patient through me. So that's, that is what marriage is all about. But immediately, if things go wrong, you already think about parting ways. The problem is that you know you have not really learned anything. You have not really, you know, become a, a, a spiritually matured person who understands what it is. So that if you're going to get married again, you're not going to repeat the same mistakes. So. That's basically what I'm, I'm trying to say in my answer. But anyway, since you are watching also and then you're listening, you can also add to you know, what you think about a man who is about to get a divorce. What do you think that the, 
they should do. Actually, the person here doesn't say a man. I immediately just said man, but I mean he's saying someone who's who's thinking about it. So you can leave your comments and tell me what you think and tell me what how you would have answered the question. And then I think that the, my answer was viewed six times and then there was no upvotes and there was no sharing. Or oh, the answer was requested by Jewel, so he's, he's a man. Okay, so thank you very much for listening and for watching.